What is up YouTube? So Apple has released a new version of iOS. Okay, it's called iOS 12. Ooh, wow, so edgy. Okay, so I have it installed on my iPhone 7. No, it's not the iPhone 8. It's not the iPhone X. It's not the iPhone XR. It's not iPhone XS Max or anything else. It's just the iPhone 7, okay? And then I have I have an older phone here, okay? Do you know what phone this is? Well, this is the um, the iPhone 5, okay? Apple released it a couple of years ago. So this one has iOS 10 actually. So let's do a speed up here, or let's do a speed test. So we have an old iPhone and we have a new iPhone, okay? Now, I should say again that the new iPhone, the most expensive iPhone, costs like $2,300 in Canada, 512 gigabytes. Yes, that's what Canadians gotta pay if they wanna be elite uh, in terms of phones. This one still costs like 500 euros. It's pretty insane. Okay, so I've turned off them. Let's, let's start them up here. So I was 12, iPhone 7, uh, iPhone 5, and I was 10. Right? Right. Okay, let's start them up. Oh, yes. Yes. First, I can see that the display looks kind of weird on the iPhone 7 here. I mean, it doesn't look as exciting, right? Why is it uh, like dimmed out? It's kind of weird. <laughs> whoa, whoa. That was fast. That was fast. I like the speed. But I think it's mainly because the processor, I, th I don't think it has to do so much with um, uh, with the hardware. Or wait a sec, it's actually soft. No, it actually may be, beca it may be because of the hardware in this phone. Look at this man. I was 12. And you can see some stats here. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so both are up and running here. So you can see that's very, very pretty. The first thing you can detect is this one has the old, the old UI. This one had a cool blur background, uh, but I don't like how it's like rounded. It's like, it feels like a toy, sort of. It doesn't have this serious kind of feel to it. As I would, I, both I was seven, had this serious feel to it and I was 10 here. I was 10 was a little bit worse actually. I think I was seven was a little bit better. It feels like they made a notification system a bit more cool here or in the new um, iOS 12 thing. I didn't like how it was in, uh, in uh, what version was it? iOS 11, yes. I like this one. It's like tap to go back, very, very nice. Let's see how this one works. Okay, you can see it's, it's a little bit slower. It's not that much slower though. Uh, keyboard is sort of the same thing. It probably has uh, different kinds of emojis. Let's see how multitasking, still sort of the same thing. I mean, it's not really that much that has changed. It's still the same kind of uh, app logos. And if I go into about here, you can see it's iOS 10.2.1. So that's nice. Let's see, I think that the display settings has changed. So let's see, first of all, why are you not that bright? Let's see, okay, that's much, that's, that's much better. So if I go into settings here, I go to the top, they sort of made a page here where you can see your Apple ID much quicker, uh, which is nice. But if I scroll down here, yeah, for example, screen time, this is clearly a good little thing uh, to have there uh, to have access there pretty fast. Display and brightness, uh, you do get. It's not really that much of that change. Yes, you have this night shift mode where I think you can save your eyes, so uh, it sort of dim the display. I think I think it should be better for your eyes at night time. Privacy, uh, it's a blue logo now. Okay. Oh no, but I think, yeah, it's sort of the same thing, right? But they've added some other cool things I'm gonna check out, like motions and fitness. And you can see, for example, if I go back here, 
you can see I have this cool measure tool here which I'm probably gonna do a second video on because you can like measure in centimeters uh, how big stuff is so I think I'm, I'm gonna check that out as well let's see has has the UI changed yeah I mean they have this little bit thicker border here it was a little bit more thinner but it's it's not like a big difference right it's not like they have made a massive change obviously you have touch ID here I think or what is it called 3d touch so you can just hold in for example if I do that on Spotify I can see my songs that I played this one doesn't have that like if I hold in a long time nothing happens it's a little bit boring right and if I hold in here you can see it's still pretty identical uh, you still have the kind of cool effects so I'm not really sure what iOS 12 has changed really I mean most of the stuff seems to be pretty similar calculator is a little bit different here you do have um, I mean seriously this is not a nice UI on the new one I don't like this weird rounded like retro old school design I feel that this was a little bit more it looks a little bit better and like easier to understand but it seems like Apple want to go to more rounded design in everything that they do which I don't really get so I'm probably gonna do benchmark tests and probably some internet speed testing between these also to see if, what people if people enjoy it basically uh, but yeah, quick little video here, checking it out. Uh, iPhone 5 might actually be a good buy still here in 2018. Yeah, have an awesome day.